Welcome everyone to this exciting interview segment. Today we have the pleasure of sitting down with Marianne Hustler, star of the Lifetime movie The Past Comes Knocking. And Marianne takes on the role of Susan. Join us as we delve into Marianne's insights into her character and the challenges of filming this movie. Thank you for being here, Marianne. Hi, thank you for having me. It's very exciting. <laughs> a pleasure. So, can you tell us a little bit about your character in The Past Comes Knocking? Mm -hmm. Well, I play Susan and she is a, um, a professor, but she used to be an investigative journalist. So, um, it's kind of like... The investigative part is really in her bones. You know, if she feels that something's not right, things are not adding up, um, she will, it, it it comes alive. And that's kind of what happens. I don't want to give away too much of the plot, right? Because that would be a shame. Yeah. Um, but there are certain things that uh, lead her to be woken up from this kind of, very safe environment of being a professor to suddenly have to go back to her old contacts and follow some leads um to get to the bottom of a couple of things and uh, there are a couple of th people that are helping with this it's it's really cool she has her daughter that's it that plays a central part in this she has an assistant a pa assistant that is really central as well and then she has an assist not an assistant a um a uh a teacher that's that's from France. He's got a he's got like a what would you call it again? Oh my God, forgive me. Um, a guest teacher, and and they kind of bond, and um, within that circle, things take off. <laughs> <laughs> and what initially attracted you to your role in the movie? Well, I as an actress play very often uh cops or um an, an aspect of investigative an aspect of of um passionate about justice all these things so i like anything like that what was new with this part is that i think i played for the first time i played a mom and that was really cool and <laughs> i played who doesn't really want it get back to this life because she she it was a traumatic situation she called it quit she was done with this and she gets kind of sucked back in because of certain circumstances um that she can't help herself so the exploration of some part of you is so geared to that you know can't help themselves looking for truth looking for justice um that really that resonates with me. I love playing that. Um, then the added aspect was I got to work with friends, which I just love. It's always much more fun for play, working with playing with friends. Um, yeah, yeah. It was it was a it was a good setup. I loved the character. I loved my character. Amazing. And uh, what do you think makes this movie so special and captivating? I think it has a really fun mix of suspense and comedy. It has like this, you know, I don't want to say it's a buddy movie because it's probably not, but it has elements. It steals from little elements, you know, they're like scary moments or weird moments. You go like, what's happening now? And then there's suddenly a lightness, you know, because she just has a very dry humor. Um, the daughter has a dry humor. You know, there's this generation that comes in as well. Um, the the fight between the generations, the the co the comedy that allows that, and then the comedy of having a guest teacher, a colleague from a different country, where the <laughs> the mentality and the the language is different. So there's a lot of opportunities for 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 fun and and cross thinking and and um and having the suspense aspect to it. Great. And what do you hope audiences take away from watching the movie? I hope they have fun. I mean, really, I hope they get a moment of just the world is crazy right now, right? We all yeah. can agree to that. We all have different ways of getting um, 
joy or forgetting or just taking a moment out of our day. And I think this movie does a really good job at allowing just to be entertained. You know, we're not curing cancer with the film. <laughs> <Tell> <laughs> We had so much fun shooting it. I'm hoping that the audience will have the same joy, you know, the same just fun watching it. Yeah. And uh, what was it like working with the rest of the cast and crew and the crew on set? Well, the crew I'm very familiar with. They're they're my friends, you know. I'm a I'm a filmmaker myself, so a lot of people on that set are people that I work with sometimes behind camera as well. Um, uh, the cast I knew, Carl is a, is a very dear friend. We've been on many projects together. We produce together. We, we create movies together as well. So that was like, oh, wow, that's cool. We get to work together again, like in front of the camera, which is fun because we have like a shorthand, you know, it's snappy. Um, yeah. I was I was very lucky. It's a it's a strong female cast. So the female roles, my female uh colleagues, the, the actresses were phenomenal. My the the girl who plays my daughter, she's beautiful. Um, I don't want to give away because I'm sure you have like interviews with them as well, right? So you'll we'll, we'll figure it out. But <laughs> yeah, the female cast today was tremendous. Um, we got to shoot in really cool locations. That was really nice as well it was a young team in production in terms of the producer herself really good as well it just a lovely experience you know when you're shooting like this fast and intense it's warfare right so you create like this little family for however long that shoot is you become family this is your universe you know and within that you kind of make it work and you become friends. And sometimes it's just friendship for that shoot. But that's okay. Sometimes it's French, you know, and sometimes you like, ah, uh, I don't like you so much, but I, I really respect you. We can work together. And I feel that set was, there was not a bad note. I, I didn't have one bad note. We all came together. We made it work. Um, I think the actors, the other actors are very, very talented. I was lucky, you know, you're usually only as good as the person you get to work with. Uh, the directors, uh, the David um, and Brandon, they took really good care of me as an actor in terms of when I'm like, you know, trying to figure things out. We had extensive rehearsal beforehand. And then the shoot was fast. So it was good. Amazing. And what can you tease? about your character journey? What can I tease? Yes. I don't know what you mean with tease. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you that she tries to do the right thing at all times, yeah? She tries to do the right thing. She, she, uh, she, she hit a wall through politics and people that were just more powerful than her and she couldn't break through that. Uh, she hit that wall. Um, and this is like her comeback, I think, of, of like, okay, this time I will not be silenced. Um, I don't want to say too much of that. The another thing I can say is that, you know, she's been, she's raising her daughter by herself. It's been a while. And um, she goes on a date, and that is interesting. <laughs> oh, great. That's teaser. It's good. <laughs> That's a good tell me. You can tell me if I can should like have another teaser. I'm thinking if there's another teaser. No. What do you think? You've seen the movie, right? No. Unfortunately, no. No. <laughs> okay so i'm kind of trying to listen trying to feel out what you think this is right or not you know um what can i say well there's a little bit of romance there's a little bit of action there's a little bit of psychos you know like yeah crazy shit going on 
um, <laughs> unexpected. And then there's a really lovely relationship between uh, my character, Susan, sorry, it's my doggie. She's not, not so well. Uh, my, um, my daughter, my daughter and my character. Uh, that's a fun relationship. We have like a lot of fun. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So the last <laughs> question about the movie, what was your favorite scene or moment while filming the movie? My favorite moment. Yes. If it's not a spoiler. If it's not a spoiler. Okay, okay. So the spoiler <laughs> I won't give away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I seen this probably with Carl, probably Landler, because we flew in both respectively from different parts and we were jet lag. And well, I, I'm gonna speak for myself, I was jet lagged. And uh, we are shooting um, the scene in a restaurant and we had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my, because a lot of it just came naturally, you know, um, we were tired. So when you're tired, you, you allow yourself to be freer, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's another cool scene, and I will have to. I have to say this. I don't know if you see it so much in the TV, but in 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 the in the movie. But we were so lucky about locations, and you know, we we shot in a real precinct, in a real police precinct. And I just want to give like a shout out to these guys on that precinct. They were amazing. These cops. I mean, they're real cops, and they they had a blast with us there. <laughs> but they were also very good. You know, they gave advice, and and they were just like so much fun, and it was nice. And to see a real precinct, not a studio precinct, you know, like we saw how, how it is for real, not like how the movie usually creates it. We've been up playing many cops. So um, this was this was interesting in terms of learning. Um, what else? Is there another one that was? There is another one. Okay, I'll, I will say that. Then you can choose which one you want to take. Okay. Um, so there's a moment when... My character is a professor and she's lecturing to this to these kids and on campus. And we did this scene many, many times. And again, I'm jet lagged. And at some point, I just started improvising because <laughs> it was so late at night, you know, we're getting tired and they're losing interest. So I'm like, how can I keep them interested? So I just started improvising and making up because the camera wasn't necessarily on me, you know. Yeah. So that that was I probably revealed far too many personal things of my life. Tension, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Amazing. So change of subject. What have been some of the most memorable projects you have worked on throughout your career, and why for you? As an actress and as a, a director, or what? Uh, what do you prefer? <laughs> so, ooh, um, well, I'm a film. So my dad's a filmmaker, so I have to I have to explain that I grew up with with on sets, you know, with camera yeah. equipment around me all. Day. But I decided to become an actress in front of the camera, and I think uh, the role th is really difficult to say because there's been so many good parts I got to play. Mm -hmm. Perhaps most recent, I'll say this most recent, um, I've just shot my second episode as a reoccurring on NCIS. Okay. Uh, which is, I don't know if you're familiar with the show, but it's a long running show. And it's one of the most amazing sets that I've ever been on. These people are a family. From the time that you come on set or try, or try on your wardrobe. You know, every person that you meet is just so lovely that at the by the by the time that you get on set and then you're acting your role, you're like, yes, I want to give my best for the show because they're like the writing is good, the actors are good, the everybody is just wonderful. So I guess that's one of my most recent, one of my favorite, favorite uh Yes, jobs that I've done, and the show actually, if I'm if I'm allowed to plug a little bit, uh, the episode is coming out on the twenty first of the tenth, and it's called Foreign Bodies, 
So that episode. Um, then I just recently did a movie called Witchy Ways, which is, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with that, Witchy Ways. So um, so we're premiering, well, not prim no, we are premiering uh, next month. We are already in five festivals and I co-produced that as well. So that that's a lot of fun. Um, I play one of the leads, two ladies. It's a, a lesbian romantic ghost witch story. So okay. a lot of fun there. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite roles I got to play was Riley Para. That was one, that was a role I prepared for, for maybe six months. I did gun training. I did fight training. I did a lot of training for this. And I, uh, I got to know the writer, uh, the closer so that was like really amazing to work with him and then the cast um what else well then so then we coming now behind the camera me directing um me writing so i finished my feature called love bees and fuckery and we just got our premiere we just got into the festival super excited and that was an intense experience because i wrote the film I directed it and I played in it. I initially, I wasn't, I didn't mean to have such a big role. I wanted to have a smaller role, but it turned out to be a bigger role. And that was intense because, you know, you think like, okay, pre-production makes sense. Shooting it, you're getting into the can. You, you just kind of got to find your way to make the days and get the shot, get the movie. But it's the afterlife that nobody tells you is so hard mentally, spiritually, uh, emotionally. It's very emotional when you're responsible for a feature film for, and for everybody, because everybody gave their time. So you want to be the person making sure you're, you're taking care of them, right? And the vision and the belief. So that that has been my baby. So I'm very proud of that. I got to direct two episodes of a travel show, of a documentary travel show for PBS. And Probably one of my favorite moments as well. We were in Cali in Colombia and being in such a different world, you know, as a filmmaker, you get to discover. As an actress, I get to discover, right? I get a script and I get to look at the, the sides and I and I want to make sure I do justice to the writer. I want to understand what the writer wants and the director has a, has tells me what they want. But then it comes through my own experience, through my skin, right? Through my eyes, through my through my mistakes of life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how the, the the role comes alive. As a director, the same thing. I get to discover when I do documentaries, I get to discover other people and the truth that they're living, the life that they're living. And it just it opened my heart so much for humanity, you know? I wanted to say like, wow, we're so much more alike than we are different. If we could just all see that a little bit more. And I really hope, I hope, my hope is for our art form, for film, for filmmakers, for anybody who's in the performing arts, you know? Please, please don't replace it with AI because you're gonna miss out on these connections, on these, the humanness, you know, that happens, that makes you grow. You grow as a person, yeah? Not it's then it doesn't even matter about the movie anymore. It's just the the the, the exchange that you had. Yes. So I think in that vein, every role that I play in that moment, I love the most because I feel there is something there for me, you know? What what can I discover new about myself? What can I discover new about humanity? And how can I do something good? I don't know, that's all I wanna do, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, amazing yeah. journey. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is, it's one of the best jobs. I know it's it's hard, don't get me wrong, it's hard. My, my mother wanted me to study law and I did for <laughs> a year. <laughs> Oh, I was so I was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've never done anything else. That's all I've ever done is this. Great. So at Survival Shows, we are big fans of Christmas rom coms. What is your yeah. all time favorite? Ooh. <laughs> the one you saw every Christmas. 
you yeah, you know, mm, I don't think it qualifies. Okay, first of all, I'll have to say probably the one that, you know, Carl is in, Christmas in Paris. I'll have to say that because it's a Lifetime movie and my buddy Carl is in it and he's <laughs> wonderful. So I do watch this every year. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I watch every year when Harry met Sally. Please don't laugh because there is a Christmas scene in there that I love. Um, I don't know if that qualifies for you as a Christmas movie. Um, it's a rom com. It's okay. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Hit me with a couple so I can tell you whether this is. Oh, Die they... Hard. Die yeah. Hard. Okay. If, if, if it is a Christmas movie for you. Okay. Yeah. I watch it every Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a Christmas movie. But I interrupted you. Tell me what is yours? The holiday, love actually. It's the uh, yeah, very the oldest one. Okay. But a lot a lot of a Hallmark movie and a lifetime movie, Christmas movie, rom coms. Okay. Yeah. It's the so tell me, I'm curious. What do you love about Christmas movies? Rom coms or Christmas movies? What do you love about particularly Christmas movies? What makes you feel like all good when you, oh, it's a Christmas movie, even if you don't know it yet? Why it's, do you like Christmas movies? It's the feeling of lightness and happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, the storyline, it's, it's uh, more or less easy to understand. And uh, you can enjoy the movie and uh, you can have uh, one hour and a half without uh, too many trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Usually yeah. about a connection, you know? It's usually about a connection that up, up between two people or somebody. It's usually about that. Yeah. And for you, it's, it's the same. That. Yeah. I mean, like, that's what I love action movies. So, I, I mean, like, Die Hard and then Christmas Song, Yippee <laughs> Aye, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. But I like, I like movies where there's connection, where there's, um, I'm having a hard time right now with heavy movies, I have to say. Like my, it's almost like my spirit can't take it, you know? I, I feel uh, the world is a little heavy. So yeah. for me right now, I'm not in that space. I want something that is either analytical, that I, I love that, you know, complex, like I love thrillers, analytical, horrors I just get scared so the you know I I actually I played in a in a horror movie and I got scared I frightened myself in the movie there was no <laughs> acting involved I was just scared <laughs> I was like I, I'm not a good candidate for that um but yeah yeah comedy is always lovely it's always lovely I would love to play more comedy mm. yeah great and the last question, can you tease us something about your next projects? So we kind of did that a little bit, right? Yeah. So Witchy Ways is out in having its premiere in San Diego in Film Out. So mm -hmm. that's, it's doing the festival right now. Uh, NCIS is coming out, the episode that I'm in is coming on the 21st of the 10th of October in the US. The, I don't know in the rest of Europe, but the episode is called Foreign Bodies and I play Lena Paulson. And I had a, an episode a year and a half ago, which is really fun, but this time the episode is like so much fun. There's <laughs> action, there's, there's love, there is, oh, it's good, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very excited. Um, I'm shooting something that I'm not I'm not at liberty to to talk about just yet, but I'm shooting something in uh in November. Two things okay. in November. I'm excited. And then yeah, my own movie, my 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 directorial debut of a feature film. I've done several shorts and and um documentaries, but that's happening on the 16th of October in New York. And I'm super, super excited. Um, yeah, really, really excited. Because we, we, we're we working with a lot of interesting themes in that movie. And with disability and, and preconception about what 
what intimacy is and what sex is and what um, emancipation of intimacy is after 30. Yeah, because it's different. Right? Well, you, yeah. you're not that old yet, but... <laughs> I I, well, I, like, I know I know <laughs> I'm over <laughs> thirty. <laughs> you really don't look, but it's really you know like people think you 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 get you you get stuck at a certain sexual age and you really don't. And I do think it's different for men and women. We're all in a different kind of, and then it's and then it's just a human experience, right? I don't really like so much differentiating between men and women. I'm not a big believer in that. I don't like labels either. Yeah. So whatever you, whoever you identify as and what you identify as is fine with me. Live life, be happy. You know, that's the bottom line. Don't get so caught up in labels. Live your life. Because we've all at some point had labels and we're fighting them, right? I remember my parents, oh, I don't remember, but I, my parents told me they, they fought to burn the bra, you know? They fought not to have labels. My mom is black. My dad is white, you know? There's a big thing about, like, I just want to be seen as human. Because when I'm with black people in some countries, I'm not black enough. When I'm with white people in some countries, I'm not white enough. I don't want any labels. Get away with them. Yes. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. So for me, yeah, just be human, have your experience to the fullest, understand what that feels like on a vibrational level, intoxicate other people with your joy and happiness and your questions and your search and all of that, you know, but, but live my goodness, you know, that's, that's my hope. Yes, <laughs> that's my hope. Yeah. Amazing. And good luck for your career. And uh, this Thank is it. Much. Make sure to Thank watch it. Much. Fast comes knocking on August uh, uh, 5th on uh, Lifetime Movie Network. Thank you, Mariam, to join us. Oh, thank you thank so you. much. You've been lovely. I hope. You don't have to tell me like it, but you can just send me a little text message. Tell me how, if you liked the movie, I, I'm really curious. I thought you had seen it. Um, so I'm <laughs> curious what you think. Thank you for your work. It's um, it's thanks to you and people that do what you do that we get to have a connection with fans and that we get to reach a bigger audience. And that's really, really tremendous. So thank, thank you very much. Thank you for to you to give me this opportunity. It's a pleasure. Yeah, lots of love. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.